All right, mercenaries. We are back, and uh, today we're going to be doing another story mission because I haven't salvaged any interesting battle mechs. <clears throat> I have, however, redesigned the battle master to try and eke out a little more power out of it. I believe it has our strongest alpha strike now. Yeah, technically, it technically has a stronger alpha strike than our Highlander by a total of eight damage. And on top of that, our heat efficiency is up to seven. Oh my god, how did Fox manage to do that? Well, we have managed this uh, by a few things. We'll talk about the redesign. So, I dropped the large pulse laser, which might make you think that we should lose damage, and we did from that, yes. But we put on a small pulse laser. I would like to get a second one, but... Oh, no, this is it right here, the small pulse laser. But we're using the ER medium lasers, the Star League medium lasers. And we're also, in order to keep up with the heat, we're using three heat exchangers. We're using uh, one of the enhanced ones, which reduces heat generated by 15%. And then we're using two regular ones, which in each reduce heat generation by 10%. And uh, they do weigh a bit, so we had to pull out a few heat sinks. But the good news is that frees up more critical slots as well. And overall, what that's doing is reducing our total heat generation, allowing us to better keep up with the heat. Now, I would like to get regular pulse lasers in the in the uh, in the torso slots, and then I would like to have I would like a large pulse laser here, just some kind of ranged weapon, just so that the battle master can plink away at the enemies if it isn't close enough to shoot at them. But right now, the ER medium lasers are fulfilling that role because ER is extended range; they're able to fire farther. And that is the redesign. I might actually. Oh, I also bumped the armor up slightly. Yeah, we're up to twelve hundred armor. Because when I put in the small pulse laser, it, we were left with half of a ton of space. So I'm like, let me give half a ton of armor. This might be the mech that I start using, just because it, it because it's such a balanced mech. A pilot that has a very balanced skill set will work well with it. Which means someone might be going in the Highlander instead of me. Anyways, let's go and see. This is the mission we're going to be doing, Defense of Panzer. Proceed to Panzer to protect its people from the Tarians. Intel suggests that a more balanced lance composition with high durability damage dealers and high maneuverability scouts would do well on this drop. We don't have any of those, so that could be a problem. If we don't protect Panzer, the Tarians will burn it to the ground. Ostagard wouldn't even think twice about it. Lady Arano can't let that happen. We can't either. So I thought Gouldra would be our next stop, but it looks like we're going, I think, back to Panzer. I think we we were we did Panzer on a mission before. I've got the financial report. Ah, got to pay the bills. Almost up to seven hundred thousand. Looks like our ship costs are rising quite a bit. Probably due to all the ship upgrades. We've almost finished all of the upgrades on the, uh... Yeah, all that's left are, well, the, the one that's in progress and then the training modules. And I don't even need the training modules, really. I'll just build them just for the heck of building them. Yeah, we're finishing the low G pool. But if that, I, I've heard stories about this mission. Uh, the defense of Panzer. The uh, Battletech community has been complaining about this mission, and since it's a defense mission, I imagine it has something to do with the enemy just kind of rushing in and attacking your stuff, your your critical objectives, and then just ignoring. Wait. Okay, not the game froze. And then just ignoring everything and just blowing your stuff up. That would be my guess, because like I haven't read too deep into it because I didn't want to get any spoilers, but. I will say that the, the community specifically complains about the defense of Panzer, and since I don't have a scout, that does worry me a bit. So what I might do is prioritize all of hey, the fast mechs that we have. So we finish the low G pool. Let's go ahead and get the second to last upgrade, the, the second level of the training modules. 
And then the Argo will be fully restored. Um, can I buy anything? Check the store first. So, I mean, if I have to... I think I'm gonna buy this. New equipment available. Now we have another stalker available. So, I don't see any option to buy, outright buy, a light mech. Or heck, even a medium mech that has uh, 240 meters on running speed. Now we have a second stalker, which could replace the catapult. Emphasis on could, because I still might want the catapult available for its jump capability. But we do have another stalker here. And I'll either A, build it into a duplicate of this... Or B, I could try, like, an SRM build and make it, like, a close-range stalker. Be like, you know, because missiles, they don't have to be long-range. Anyways, let's get this show on the road. I'll, I'll customize the mech later, because it's not going to be... It's not going to appear on this one. Is there anything else I can learn? No, that's just a repeat. So let's pull everything out. So as I said, we don't have... The fastest we run is 240 MS. And a lot of our mechs go at that speed. So let's go ahead and bring the Highlander in. And then what I might do is bring in our fastest assault mechs. Including the Victor. And maybe instead of the Zeus, we'll bring in the, um, the Grasshopper. Because uh, we'll have two jump capable, basically... Even though these aren't scout mechs, they're both jump capable, and they both go at uh, 200 meters, so... Perhaps their jump capability will compensate for that. We're also going to prioritize our movement. So we're going to have Drake, and... Where's Lobo at? Over here. They're going to be in the really fast mechs. I'm going to go in the Highlander. Basically, everyone who has a piloting skill of 10 is going to go in the faster mechs just to try to eke out every little bit of speed from it. And... Mac 10 has... I don't think he's had a chance to be on a story mission. I can't remember or not. So I'm going to let him have the honor of piloting the Highlander in my absence of its seat. The Battlemaster should perform even better since this is a polar biome. Uh, even including the fact that we did enhance it even further with the uh, the heat exchangers. But we're going to try this out and we'll see if this is sufficiently fast. We'll just have... There, there's no way to know until we actually get in there. So in we go. We'll see how troublesome this mission is. If it's super troublesome, well, I might have to go back and uh, redo it. And uh, if I really need a faster mech, I might have to go look around for one. So we need to protect the Spaceport Command Center from the Tarian advance and prevent the Tarians from seizing the Restoration dropships. So it sounds like we need to protect buildings and dropships. Oh, over here it says, We had to deal with hunger back on home on Nassau. Stealing food from starving people is low, even for a monster like Ostagard. I see, so he's trying to, uh... Cause a famine. So these must be supply ships. With food Command stuff. Interface initiated. Hanzir is in desperate shape, Commander. Famine is a fact of life here, and the Tarians have targeted the spaceport we've been using to deliver emergency supplies. As we speak, the Tariads have several waves of APCs, complete with battle mech escorts, en route to the Spaceport's command center. If they succeed in taking it, they'll lock down our supply ships, and the people of Panzer will starve. The Spaceport's turrets are down, and House Decimus is in no position to repel an attack of this magnitude. It's on us to stop them. You will defend the Spaceport against the Tarians and prevent their troop transports from reaching the command center. Oh, we got someone else here. Someone from Decimus's boys. They're likely to send a detachment for our wounded as well. If you could spare a mech or two, please consider sending them to protect our barracks. 
We've suffered too many casualties to defend them ourselves. Wow, so we have a third objective. The Tariots have been hitting us hard, Commander. The second is nearly gone. But I do still have a few non-combat personnel under my command. We'll do what we can to defend the Restoration. I have no idea what you're... If you could stop all the Tarian APCs from reaching the command center, my people will get the spaceport... Tur oh, okay, okay. I'm afraid we won't be able to make a move if any of them get through, though. I just don't have the numbers to go against Tarian Marines in a ground fight. Best of luck, Commander. So, we really want to make sure Stop this doesn't fail. Commander. You're the only one who can. Okay, so our objectives are co protect the command, prevent the commando APCs from reaching the command center. So they, they might not even need to destroy it, they just need to capture it. Eliminate all the APCs to bring the turrets back online. So there's, it looks like there's going to be six APCs. And destroy all the attackers. I usually click on them to get kind of an idea where they might come from. I, it looks like from behind seems unlikely. Uh, the person who's going to be really important here is Drake, because he's got the AC-20, and the AC-20 is pretty good at just penetrating the, the armor of a vehicle and just finishing it off right then and there. So... Receiving you. I guess... I, I don't actually know where to move to, so let's just... go into the middle. On my way. And maybe we'll fan out slightly. Oh. detected. Okay, so we got something there. We got a 50-ton vehicle. We found a battle mech. I don't know how far... You see, I don't know how far away I want to get from over here. So I'm going to leave one mech kind of in the center of the town. The Tarians have just dropped off a transport full of commandos. If they make it to the barracks, my injured soldiers are as good as dead. Please, Commander, stop them if you can. I see why they would want you to have a scout mech. They want you to have a scout mech to step on the vehicles and squish them, basically. I think that's the, the goal. Okay, so this is the first round of shooting. Okay, we got some scouts here. That's going to be the grasshopper's job. Oh, that's a decent barrage of missiles. Maybe a trebuchet or a catapult. Aye, aye. I do not think we can jump in range of the commando. Oh, wait, wait. Let's think about the... Um so the assault team appeared somewhere over there. I should probably send someone to go deal with that. So I think I'm just going to sprint over here. Actually, no, no, no. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to send the grasshopper forward like we were planning. Probably with a jump. So that I can at least shoot back. Copy that. It is a trebuchet. Oh, we've detected a Sleepner APC. Interesting. When it said a 50-ton vehicle, I was expecting, like, a tank or something. I'm gonna tank up, because the Grasshopper is gonna be it. Confirmed. Okay, more APCs. Four APCs. So good thing we left someone kind of in the middle. Orders. Let's go ahead and have you destroy this APC. We'll hit it with an alpha strike just because sleepers are fairly armored. Acknowledge. I don't want to underestimate the, the sleepers armor. Receiving you. Where was the... Okay, so the barracks is over there. Okay. 
And I'm pretty sure they got dropped over here, so they're going in that direction. It looks like it would take me maybe three turns to reach that area. We don't have a good shot there, so I'm just going to guard. And I guess I'm going to take out the... Uh... There we go, this puts me in range of all the weapons. And I will take out this Sleepner over here. Okay. A Jenner? What is he doing? Shooting at the Highlander, that's fine. Systems holding. The Commando. Bunch of light mechs. Whole bunch of them. I think I'm going to squish this vehicle and probably tank up again because this is still going to be the guy who's it. Let her rip. Ah, wasn't quite enough to get through its armor. Okay, we, we're getting the attention of the trebuchet, at least for now. Just driving along the road allows those APCs to move very quickly. Good to go. Okay, I'm gonna let that APC come forward. I don't want to move so far away from the middle of our base that that we basically get lured away. Is there anything I can jump on to get a, a shot at some of these guys, I wonder? I can jump on that. What is this? An unknown mech? Let's yep. continue going this way. No need to make any more decisions just yet. So if we need to get to the barracks as quickly as possible, we should be running, because he can run faster than he can jump. We're going to use the jump mainly to scale objects. Or possibly to... Yeah, we don't have a good shot there, so let's just run over here. I copy. Okay, we've reconned more targets. It's like it's a huge invasion of these little crummy mechs. I might take a shot at... ...the panther. Although I don't have a great shot on the panther. I don't have a great shot on the Jenner, either. I don't have a great shot on really anybody. Let me see the condition of the Sleepner APC that we didn't finish. Ah, uh, we don't have a visual on it. Okay, that means I will step forward. Actually, I said I would be okay with allowing it to come out. But what other move am I going to make? I'll just do this move right here. Okay, I have a visual on it, which means I should be able to fire on it with my LRMs. Uh, I just gotta hit one missile on its right door. We, we should be able to get it. Yeah, we got it. Okay, so we got half of the APCs. them back. Show the Torians that we will never stop fighting. The Jenner is just scurrying around being a butt. I might have the Grasshopper Co. go into combat with the Trebuchet. But I'm also not entirely sure. 
I also could punch this annoying commando just to thin it out. Although, like, destroying the enemy battle mechs really isn't our objective, to be completely honest. Oh, wait, no, destroy all attackers. That is one of our goals. Okay, I'll destroy this guy. Which side of him is more damaged? His left side? And that would be over here, huh? So I'm gonna jump over here. Here we go. I'm gonna tank up. And I'm going to knock off some of these weapons like that. We'll fire the large lasers just in the event we hit. Target lock, honey. Oh, oh, we hit with both of them. Hit him hard. Okay, that's the end of him. That's a kill. What is he shooting? Oh, he's shooting at my Victor. I keep looking at these goals, and I, uh, none of these seem to be protective building from being destroyed, so... It's like, I don't know what the... I think the battle mechs are hunting for my mechs. Like, I don't know, they just seem to be scurrying all over the place. Ready for orders. Okay. So what moves do I have? Uh, the only move my Battlemaster has is just to move closer to this area here. I don't think there's anywhere I can go that allows me to shoot. So we're just going to sprint back towards the middle of the base. What's up, boss? Ready for orders. Okay, so one thing we need to do is probably jump over here. And we need to kill one of these transports. Definitely the Sleepner. We're gonna call a shot here. How heavy is its forward armor? What am I most likely to hit? Yeah, we're just gonna concentrate all on the forward armor. Just because that's the most likely thing to hit. And I, I just want to penetrate the armor and take it out. Yeah, he's got 90 in the front. Yeah, okay, we should... Targeting for an alpha strike. Okay. Now the second one... Supporting vehicle destroyed. I don't think the second one can drive to here in, in its one movement. I don't Death think it's capable five. of making that far of a, of a movement. Now, I could have swore that there were APCs going for the barracks, but... I don't know. Because I don't see any I don't I don't see anything going for the barracks. Maybe I'm just blind. Firing jump jets. I'm just gonna shoot this guy. Locked on. Oh nice he hit. Looks like Iron Man. Uh more oh they're dropping him really close to the objective now. Cannot be allowed to take this spaceport. Whatever it takes, we must push them back. Okay, bunch of little annoying guys running around. Getting those turrets back online would be nice. Good, that's a miss. Yeah. Ah, I see. So not all of these are... That's a Shrek. Not in range of that trebuchet yet. But there's the Sleepner. Um... If I... What if I do this? No, oh, that would cause me to overheat. So we're not going to do that. I'm just going to start working on the trebuchet, I think. Just to start attacking their support. Engage. Okay. 
Hey, looks like we yeah, had a head injury that we bypassed. Missiles. Getting tired of them already. Two more, two more APCs and the turrets will come back online. What do you need? Interesting. Looks like we have some moves we can make, but... I guess I'm just gonna jump in. I kinda wanna see what that vehicle is. Although, might be smarter to jump in for a uh, attack on this Wolverine. It's an SRM carrier. I think I'm actually going to make a targeted attack on that, because that's actually a pretty dangerous target. Got it. Oh, thank God he hit. Let's get this done. Enemy vehicle destroyed. One hit. Grasshopper can take it, even out of cover. Ready for orders. Where are the APCs? That might be an APC, given that it's a 50-ton vehicle. Where can I jump that'll get me a shot on it? I've got... An obstructed shot, which is better than nothing. Yep, there's another Sleepner. I'll take a called shot on his front armor. Firing all weapons. Nice. Vehicle trashed. Okay. Oh, God, another Sleepner. It didn't. <laughs> so it looks like I was just, just perfectly correct about it, not quite being able to make it. So we're going to call a shot on front armor. Got him. All the Tari APCs are down. Hold tight. We're bringing the turrets online now. Oh man, that's going to help so much. In addition to the firepower, it will also... Oh, it's a heavy laser turret too. Oh man, we got heavy turrets. And probably some standard and light turrets, too, but we got some heavy turrets. And also, that means that objective no longer needs help. And we need to probably get over to the... the, the um... Oh. So they are going after it still. I don't know who's going after it. That's a side objective, though, so if we fail that one, it's like... Not the end of the world. Now we just have to destroy all the remaining attackers. Doing a split shot, isn't he fancy? Commander. And he's running away, what a... Coward. So instead, what I'm going to do, instead of, like, trying to chase this guy down who's just being a massive butt, I'm probably going to try to go for the, uh, the Shrek. Lifting off. Oh, I'll be patient. I'm just going to fire the two large lasers as I close the distance with it. This is why I put the large lasers on the Grasshopper as well. Okay, they are starting to thin our turrets out, but the, a few of the turrets are the heavy-duty kind, and it's finally their turn to start shooting back as well. Where am I needed? I feel like I'm need. well... Good to go.
Here we go. Jumping. We have an opportunity here. Let's try... Let's see if we can assassinate this guy. Yeah, there we go. Great shooting. Great shooting. Hostile removed. Order. Uh, let's see. What other targets can we go for? The Shrek is really beat up on its left side. Which is not the side that's facing us. But I could shoot at the Panther instead. I also have a good... The uh, Wolverine looks like a good target, actually. Let's jump over here and attack the Wolverine. Copy that. Got its leg. Critical hit, Commander. So down goes the Wolverine. Really? Just one shot from the laser? There's nothing over here that, that even needs to be protected, so I'm going to start heading... Where am I going to start heading? Oh, I could actually shoot at the Wolverine. I guess I'll do it. I, I got through some part of its armor. Can they kill it? Oh, man, they got it! Oh my god, the turret saved us! They, they said something, I, I didn't read that, but it said something about like, Oh my god, you did it! Hot damn, let's do this! Okay, Panther time. Didn't quite make it through the armor. That's gonna make it through though. Big fancy with his split fire, thinks he's so cool. Anyways, we're at the 30 minute mark. I am going to pause this and I will be back the next episode. So like this video if it was entertaining, subscribe for future Battletech content. Of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good.